So Tame Impala up there after pulling hard, now being uh, called upon here. It's off the bit. Daisy Express getting a run inside of it and Chayers out wider. Down on the inside, Source of Survival. Gamer Whipple looking for a run right behind those and so is Roth the Toff. Homeward bound Headlander boy, given his head, led a length and a half. Senzo's going pretty easily though. It's Senzo now quickly ranging up, going to the front from Headlander boy. Daisy Express, Source of Survival. Gamer Whipple, then Roth the Toff, but Senzo went to the 100 clear. Headlander boy coming back. Senzo shortening stride. Headlander boy, Daisy Express, but Senzo responds late and Senzo wins it. Darren, Paul, uh, you step up to the 1600 metres and keep the perfect record at Belmont Park. Yeah, no, good stuff. Don't sell Belmont. I thought the comment that you told us last time, you told Aaron going out there that this guy has a small sprint, so when you want to go, don't and wait. So evident out there. He sat there quietly, let it go, and then we just saw the final stages. That sprint had really stopped. Yeah, no, and that's what he does. He just got, he's got this little dash and... Uh, as I said, there's a two-year-old. He, he got to uh, Lucky Street a couple of times, but, but that's all he could do. And then Lucky Street would just run away from him, you know. So His cruising speed's really improved, hasn't it? You just saw Aaron sitting so quietly through those early stages and around the bend as well. He's a really athletic horse, you know. He just skips over the ground really well. He's not over heavy. He's a light frame fella and... Uh, you know, he just does it easy. So what do you take from today? Is this horse ideal distance, the 1,400 metres, we can stretch out to 16, or how, how do you assess it? Well, we'll just keep going. I think, you know, there's the Belmont Guineas coming up, and then there's those lead-up to those other races. We'll see how he does, and himself, really, that's the most already there. And the ride from Aaron, as I said, clearly listening to instructions, you must be happy the way that he's riding for the team? Oh, it's really good. I mean, he's a not really nice lad. To be able to ride when you're as tall as he is, 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 is just shows you uh, his dedication for the game. Should be playing basketball. <laughs> he could well be. <laughs> well done, mate. Good win. Oh, thanks for that. Aaron, how much uh, did you take from riding at last start and knowing about this short sprint? Because it was really evident out there today. Yeah, it helps a lot. Obviously, the first time up to the 1600. and um, He actually relaxed really well on the run. Um, and it was just a matter of whether he had that kick still left, and he, he showed that again today. We've talked about Senso a lot, and we know a lot about the horse, so more focusing on you now, but you just seem to be able to get them really running for you well at the moment, as we said there. We were just cruising along. You didn't have to put any pressure on, and they're responding so well to the way that you're riding. Yeah, that's right. You know, it helps when you're riding better horses, and you can just relax that little bit, and your confidence builds up a bit as well, so that always helps. As we said, the, the 1,600 metres, no issue at all? No, I can't see it being an issue. You know, even 2,000... He showed, the good thing about him, he's got that little bit of a turn of foot and he, he puts a cu couple of quick lengths on him and he's hard to run down. Well done, mate. Good win. Cheers. Thanks, mate.